It's going. There are many different ways to go about your programming, but for the people that I work with, writing out some really elaborate training program is just a waste of time. Now, and not just one day at a time, but if I try to plan out months and months and months in advance. So Olympic athletes know what they're going to do for the next four years, roughly, but my general population clients that work at Eli Lilly don't even know how they're going to feel tomorrow. So writing out this month-long or year-long kind of periodization thing is just a waste of time. So I need to focus on what is convenient for them and how they're feeling each day. So I'm going to use auto-regulation. Auto-regulation is just a big word to talk about how I balance my internal body processes. The simplest example is heart rate. How does heart rate respond to when I exercise? So when I exercise, I need more oxygen, I need more blood flowing, so my heart rate goes up. That's it, so I'm trying to maintain a balance. In terms of programming, let's, th let's say I've got someone who's feeling really good one day. Their resting heart rate is normally 69, and today they woke up, it was 62. It's plummeted way down, and that sounds like a bad thing, but that just means their body is less stressed out, because their heart doesn't have to beat as fast, in the morning at least, at rest. Uh, they, they slept eight hours, and they would rate the quality of that sleep as high, like four out of five, five out of five. And they get to the gym, they do their warm-up, and they're like, man, I'm feeling great today. So for them, I'm going to let them push it a little bit harder. I'm going to let them add another set. I'm going to let them work up to a rating of perceived exertion of nine out of ten or ten out of ten. So this RPE, rating of perceived exertion, is just telling me how hard am I trying. Conversely. What if we have someone, 69, resting heart rate again, but today they woke up and it was like 77. They're super stressed out. They slept like dog crap. Five hours, woke up four different times. Uh, boss yelled at them today. Girlfriend broke up with them. Uh, they, they warm up and they're like, man, I just don't feel good. So for them, what I'm gonna do, I might cut a set down, but all I really want is for them to get their blood flowing. So I'm going to bump the reps up, probably about 10 reps. I'm going to shorten the rest periods, and their RPE is not going to go anywhere near a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. It's going to stay at about a 6, maybe even a 5, because I just want them to get moving and get recovered. So for both of those people, though, they might have the same base program. I might want to normally do three sets of six, let's say, but if I'm feeling crappy, I'm going to let them do two sets of ten, and if they're feeling good, I'm going to let them do four sets of six, and I'm going to let that last set be really, really heavy. Uh, so action steps. Get your base program, know your resting heart rate, take it every morning, and then compare it to what your average resting heart rate normally is. How do you feel before you train? How did you sleep last night? And then modify as you need. Thanks. <laughs>